So this one's pretty cool. If y'all remember the, the Chevy, uh, supercharged Chevy. Let's see what this one does. That's on me. <laughs> so the baby's with mom and dad. That's kind of the whole point of this uh, little bit of this video, right? That's the point of this video? No, it's not really the point of it, but it's kind of a reason. Because your mom and dad took the baby? No, why we're doing this. Oh, yeah, because of the baby. No, yeah. so we got you got to say. Well, that, well, that's what we're going to say. We're blaming it on the baby. She yeah. has nothing to do with this decision, though. You gotta say. But if, what do you gotta say? What's up, YouTube? Oh, what's up, YouTube? We're with the the Bell Life vlogs right now. Right. And we're using the phone, so it's a little tight in here. Well, it's a little tight in here, no matter what. And it's... it is humid. Oh yeah, where's the key? Where's is the car keys in it? Yeah. Okay, there we are. Okay. So. What do we do? Well, we can't say. Okay, we'll show where we're at. How about that. McCluskey Chevrolet, and this is in the uh, King's Auto Mall, right? And yes. what is this? Is this in uh, basically Cincinnati, Ohio? I guess you yes. would say, right? McCluskey, McCluskey Chevrolet, and then don't do any cheating, don't fast forward or any of that kind of stuff. Just leave a guess below on what you think we're doing. At, at a Chevrolet dealer? Yeah, a Chevrolet, Chevrolet dealer, yeah. Right? So yeah, this is a big reason. So we got, how long have you had this Amy since you all saw the video when we got it? Yeah, we got it in October of last year. October of last year. Amy says she was having some kind of seizure or something. She didn't know what <laughs> That's she was. what Jennifer said. She said, did you have a stroke? Because when I, we didn't have the baby with us when we got it and we didn't have the car seat with us. But we looked at this. I love this vehicle, but I didn't think it through. Um, and because of that, the baby, uh, has nowhere to put her legs. It's kind of hard to tell right here, but there's about, I don't know, there's five inches right here. She can't even fit her body between the seat and the car seat. It's really not a good situation. Yeah, this thing is like the size, it's basically, in a nutshell, you know what it is. It's a Ford Escape is what it is. I mean, there, that's what it looks like right there. Ford Escape, and Amy's put... Right around six thousand miles on it. No, I think it. I think it had almost. It had twenty one thousand when we 19 bought it. Nineteen on it or something. I can't remember. It's nice and raining right was now. Was it nineteen when we bought it? Maybe I have put six thousand miles on it. I, I don't think know. she put six thousand miles on it. Well, but, anyway, something. I put so, something on it. Y'all go back to that video when we got it or whatever. This is a twenty twenty uh, Evoque Range Rover Evoque, and it had tw around twenty thousand miles on it. We got it. We it probably we probably showed that when we first picked it up, right? Yeah. And but, all the people at Range Rover were really good to us. It was a great experience buying it. Um, you know, they've... Believe it or not, haven't had... It still has a uh, bumper to bumper warranty till... Yeah. Like another year, over a year, something yes, like that. Over, it still has a, a manufacturer's warranty for a year, yeah. And we haven't had... I mean, everything that's that's happened to us has been wear and tear. We put tires on it. What else do we do? Oh, uh, yeah, we had to put tires on well, it. Well, the, the tires weren't really a wear, wear and tear. You guys saw that. We put yeah. the... That, that, that was a little bit ridiculous, but what else did we do to it? Um, we had the windows tinted, and we had a heat heaters put in the seats. They did all that at the dealership. Yes. But we uh, actually, that's all we've done to it and put fuel that's in it. it. Yeah, and fuel. Yeah. And that's it. That's really all we've done to it. But the, the it is really tiny inside here. Yes, it is very small. The back seat's very small. Uh, to be honest with you, it's we when we go out, because we go out with our, you all know Brian and Jennifer. They're our, like, she's like my sister. We go out with them every single week, sometimes two or three times. And when I sit in the back seat of this thing, I almost puke every single time. It's it's really it's really hard for me to sit in this thing. Um, and my my legs hit the back of Justin's seat, so I can't move. And if, if there is like no, no hey, let me room. get back there. Yeah, let I yeah I want to see Justin. Right there. So Justin's seat is where it has to be. For him to be able to comfortably hit the brake and I don't even know that he can get back there honestly. Oh, oh, he he fits. Got a. Okay. <laughs> so this is the back seat. So Justin's leg is pinned up against the seat. It's in it's in the seat. It's, I mean, in, it's in the in, seat. It's in the seat. But I can show him right here. Look. Okay. So this is where this is where we are right here. 
So it's a little bit tiny back here. Mm -hmm. So, oh, somebody just got a car right there and started up. Charger? Yep, Challenger. That. Look at that, there's a Duramax, or no, is that a gas? I don't know what that is, but. I don't know what it is. So anyways, uh, this is where we're at, and maybe the next clip. And I, I, I don't want y'all to say, well, you know, this was really uh, not a bad decision, but with car seats nowadays, I don't know if you guys can see how big her car seat is, but it is ginormous. And when she gets when she gets in, like I have to contour, I actually have to pin her knees to her chest to get her in that car seat. Um, cause I don't really let my kids like jump on the seats in here. I, we try to really be aware of what's going on in our vehicles. Um, and sh so it's really hard. Like she, there's been a couple of times I like, she's like, no mom. So it's just, it just really was not a good purchase for us. And yeah. I think it's a great family vehicle if you know you have older children you know maybe like eight or nine year olds instead of a two-year-old that you're having to contort to get her in her car seat because i can't put the car seat behind this seat it won't fit yes you can't it she has to keep her legs up in her chest and i can't put it behind this seat because um it's the same issue she'd have a few inches but then she has nowhere to actually stretch out yeah. so um i know you guys are gonna say it was a bad buy and we told you you're right 100 percent well the only reason it was a bad buy is because it's too small yeah other than that it's beautiful it's a it's absolutely a beautiful car and i i really do um love it but i do appreciate all of your comments telling us to get something that's a little bit bigger and uh we're taking your advice so you can't be mad at us for that so the next clip you'll see is uh what we decided on yes we'll be back uh -oh, no license plate amy it's being driven away by somebody else so if you all haven't told by now what do you think what do you think we got I'm not showing it on purpose it's not that truck he's taking it away there it goes what do you think about it bittersweet bittersweet so on to the new one right yeah. should we show them so it's a traverse all-wheel drive she likes this the black sparkly and almost like it's it's like, it's like a bass boat it's not bad Stop it. it's not bad it's not bad it's right it's got i'm just kidding it's not that should we should we uh go go uh go start it up okay let's start it up yeah i haven't shown it yet so this one's pretty cool if y'all remember the, the chevy uh supercharged chevy <laughs> actually got a nicer freaking radio than the Cummins that's for sure but it has uh, 4,400 miles on it well 4,407 miles and uh, the look at that they didn't even give us a full tank of gas whoa how much they gave us right below a half oh what's up with that how come no. we got below a half I'll, I'll go call him yeah and uh well we can finish this real quick but it's got a Alcantara right here. It's a little bit. It doesn't. It does not have air conditioning seats. It's got heated seats. It's got a little, little badge here. Seven hundred two horsepower. It's got all of that. We'll show you more at the. Uh, well, let me get this real quick. Show you under the hood. So it's a twenty twenty three. It was traded in, I think, on a Corvette. 62 supercharged. Get it real quick. Um, if I can get under the hood, sorry, let me get under here. Ugh. Can't get under it. Got this in Got the cow induction hood here. How do you get under this thing? I just did it a minute ago. Oh, it's right here. Got it. Okay. It's hidden by this 
big freaking intake here. You all have seen a million reviews on TRXs that they've been out a long time. But 6.2 liter supercharged right there. Is that, is that Hemi orange? Is that what that color is? So it's 702 horse. The videos I've seen on YouTube, it's it's supposedly right around 600 horse to the wheels, which is about 70 more horse than what the Chevy had. And I tell you what, it runs extremely good for being stock. Basically brand new, but it's got all kinds of fancy stuff Amy's phone's done in here. That's what the key looks like. This one's got a little scratch in it. A lot bigger inside for sure. It's got like an Alcantara right here and the leather in the center. But no no air conditioning seats. Oh, got some Amy stuff in here. It's just like the sticker no, I think. or a bracelet so it's just like the uh get the bear spray did you find them yeah but they don't do that so it's uh they don't do what they don't fill them up really no oh really yeah huh okay really oh what is it on new cars they do but not on used i don't think they do on any really Sucks up either. I hop in. Really? Okay. Hop in real quick. Go over a little bit. You gotta figure out all these buttons, but here's your it's got lines control and then it's got your your different modes right here. So this the screen pops up. So you can scroll between your modes. Right now it's a sport. You can go to custom. Mud slash sand, rocks, Baja, sport, tow, snow, and auto. So we'll just go back to what? Sport? I don't know. It's a stock exhaust. I thought they said it ran Dustin Baja. Does it run Dustin Baja? I'm not sure. But you wanna. So it's a. So I was trying to show the truck. We'll show more when we get home here, I guess. But um, if y'all remember on this channel, we had a uh, a 2020. Um, what's that thing called? A 2020. Uh, what was it, Amy? 2020 uh, Chevy 1500 uh, RST. We did a Whipple supercharger and um, Brian Tool Racing Cam. And of course, this is more than likely going to go to uh, Joey's and have a few little things done here and there and down at Climax Motorsports in Alexandria or Silver Grove, Kentucky. Um, but there's the backup camera. Show that. We gotta get out of this place. It might be old. It's packed in here, but um, and uh, and and we did a, a bunch of work there, and that that was only a that was only a five three, so. 5.3 uh, V8 and um, uh, anyways Amy got we got rid of that and Amy ended up getting the um, your Range Rover last October right yeah we already said all this huh? yeah, we already said all that but uh, anyways it's too small y'all saw that and um, we went and test drove a few uh, we test drove a Raptor you like the looks of the the Raptors and believe it or not we actually didn't have a really good experience at the Ford dealerships did we um, no. Huh? Yeah. What? I'm hot. I'm sick to my stomach all of a sudden. Oh, well, you're always hot, then you're cold. But, um, uh, didn't have a real good experience with the Ford dealerships. Uh, that, that they weren't wanting to give us hardly anything for the, for the Range Rover. Yeah, that is true. And, um, uh, we were going to go to one other Ford dealership, but we test drove. We should have filmed that. We test drove, uh, 2023 
Raptor. It was brand new. It had 15 miles on it with blue Recaro seats, and uh, it, it was it was all right. Um, got home and uh, dropped the baby off, and then came back to that to the uh, dealership, and they weren't weren't de weren't wanting to deal at all with the Range Rover. Were they? Right. Yeah. So we left out of there, and we were going to go test drive another Raptor, but at the end of the day, um, uh, the unless you get the Raptor Type R. Um, you're still in a V6, three, a 3.5 EcoBoost. So with 450 horse. And I'm thinking that's, you know. And then I was just looking around on, on the on the internet and uh, and we found, um, we got the Ram from up here. The, the um, My truck originally was your mm -hmm. truck, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. From up here at King's Auto Mall at Ram. And, uh, and I was looking in McCluskey Chevrolet up here at King's Auto Mall had this, it's a used, like I said, it's got now it's got four thousand four hundred eight miles on it, um, and that uh, they had it, and we came up today just to uh, just to look, and right away night and day difference. You all know the sound difference from a V8 to a V6. It's unbelievable, and it was used, so it's a lot better deal than buying one uh, brand new, and um, they were uh, very uh, nice when it comes to dealing with the Range Rover, weren't they? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, Basically, if, if you're looking if you're looking to get rid of a if you're trading in a vehicle or doing any of that kind of stuff that they they really deal well, don't they? Yeah, they do. So they don't they I don't mean, jack I mean, you around at all. Yeah, they they're really well, really nice. Craig was a really nice guy. Definitely asked for Craig. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, his information I showed him. I said I chose cards. Uh, cards? Uh, we'll have to get it out later. It's in it's in the back. But but they they uh, they treated us really good with the Range Rover, and then. Um, uh, and then with this, and uh, we, we test drove it, and uh, he said, "Take your time, and right away you'll see in a second we're getting ready to get on the highway." Uh, it was it was a it was a really good experience. And at McCluskey Chevrolet, they do actually uh, whatever the price of the vehicle is that you're looking at. They do. Uh, I think it has to be it has to be under hundred thousand miles, don't it? Yes. The vehicle has to have under hundred thousand miles. But uh, on used vehicles, they do lifetime powertrain warranty. Yes. So the the everything uh well except the electronics if you want that kind of stuff covered you have to pay extra for the warranty or whatever but lifetime powertrain warranty on this a freaking uh supercharged uh, hellcat motor I, right. think, I think that's freaking crazy but now i got room for the baby in the back i guess we'll have to shove her in the back of this thing but i might move her to the middle but we'll see what's your, so what's your thoughts on it amy i'm gonna drive like it more i haven't driven it what do you think about it i like it you like it yeah, I'm going to get ready and take it to the grocery. Are you? Probably. Are you really? Yes. Are you really going to take it to the grocery? Uh, yeah, probably multiple times. I don't think this thing's a grocery getter, is it? It's a grocery getter. If it's mine, it's a grocery getter. Yeah, technically it is. How come your phone's not hooking up to it? Let me show you. And it's got uh, wireless. because it's in drive. And no. And, and it's got wireless Apple CarPlay. I don't know if they, it says not connected. Is your Bluetooth off or something? Probably. Device unavailable. The Bluetooth's right here. There, no, it wasn't off. Oh. Okay, so we'll try to hook it up again. It's got CarPlay. There it is, right there. Wow, let's have a CarPlay. My favorites, good maps. It's pretty cool. But, pretty nice, uh, can't show much music here. Nice big difference on the sound, right? Yeah, I like it. So let's see if they can. So I, the, the stock exhaust, nothing's been done to this motor on this thing yet.
really good. Yeah, we're in Mexico right now, but runs good, don't it? Yeah. But anyways, Amy's being kind of weird on camera right now, so we'll be back in a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm just listening to you. Oh, you're all right. I no, didn't I'm touch totally your fine. No, I'm not mad. I'm just. It's pinning me back to the seat and causing my heart to like beat faster. Went back to went back to normal. Just drive. Uh -huh. We're in. Are we at Baja mode? Great or, with adrenaline. Or what are we in right now? Baja. I think it's got para para I don't want to fool them in right now, but we got to figure out. We have that uh, car wash pass with Mike's um, car wash. And, I have all the information in here. All you do. They'll so just be able to give us a new sticker. Print us a new one out or something yeah. like that. Okay. But anyways, I wanted, we just wanted to come on and say that we've, we've uh, it doesn't have air conditioned seats. This is like a really, like the base model TRX or whatever. So I think it's a package one or whatever they call that. It's nothing, it's not like the, the uh, whatever you call that, like the super, right. the super luxury one. There's no air conditioned seats. It says it's got a heated steering wheel, but. Um, we haven't tried it yet. Yeah, we haven't tried any of that stuff yet. I don't, I don't have any It's of under comfort, I think. I don't know how any of this stuff works or whatever, so we'll hopefully try to figure this out. Um, get back to, how do you even get back to the car club? But there it is right there. But anyways, we're going to head home and then, um, um, I don't know, maybe show you some more of it. Show Play you with the drive. buttons. See how the stuff works. We'll be yeah. Back.